Hello, and thank you for joining me for another lesson here in Sage X3. In today's lecture, we're going to be talking about how to generate uh, shipping labels um, for the cargo that is leaving your warehouse. Um, this is a very common application for many clients uh, that when they complete the picking process uh, and packaging process, they want to go ahead and generate labels out of the system to apply to the boxes um, so that when the customer receives the cargo, um, information pertaining to the contents, uh, part number, uh, and quantity uh, will all appear upon there. Okay, so to start, we're going to take a look at the uh, crystal report uh, for the shipping label. So we're going to come under our development menu, under script dictionary, then here to reports. And here is the crystal report that's utilized for generating the packaging label. So this is the SETI COL report. Okay. And um, much like the other labels that we've looked at in some of the other lectures, keep in mind that you can set down here your default printer destination that you want these packaging labels to be output to. Alrighty. Uh, the second thing um, for us to take a look at is let's take a look at the entry transactions associated with the packaging steps. So if we come under our setup menu, we can come down to stock, entry transactions, then under the entry transactions here, we're going to come into packaging. And you'll note that in here, there's two different uh, packaging types here, or kind of packaging methodologies. Um, you have the POS, which is the after packaging, and you also have the declarative packaging. Okay, uh, the after packaging approach is uh, when you're doing your packaging um, kind of on a shipment by shipment basis whereby the declarative packaging pulls up a little workbench of sorts that you can kind of do all your packaging um, through one pass. Alrighty, so at any rate, in both cases, uh, what we're interested in is down here in the printing section, we want this printing parameter to be set to labels. The doc associated document is that SETI call report that we just looked at. And we can also have this auto print option um, being checked, meaning that as soon as the package is declared, X3 is going to automatically prompt you to print out the label. Okay, so again, both on the POS entry transaction as well as this DEC for the declarative packaging, um, those parameters are going to be set in the same manner. Alrighty. Um, the third thing, um, as it relates to the setup, is on our product site records um, in terms of establishing the default packaging unit uh, for the item at the site. So under common data, we're going to come to products, then product sites. And for these examples, we're going to be taking a look at this FIN 020 product. And down here on the management tab, we have our packaging section here. So in here, we want the packaging box being checked, the stock detail box. Then in, in this package field, this is where we um, specify if the uh, good is going to be packaged into a box, a carton, a pallet, and whatnot. In this case, we're going to be doing our packaging for this product into a large box. Then the packaging capacity represents... Um, how many um, of this item in the stocking unit measure can fit into the package. So in this case, we have a one-to-one. -one. Alrighty. So now let's take a look at how you can actually go about and um, create the packages and generate the packaging labels. Um, so in the first approach to this, we're going to be doing it directly from the delivery record. So we're going to come under our sales option, 
go to deliveries, then to deliveries. We'll go into our full entry transaction. Then in here, we'll go ahead and click on our delivery record. Then we're going to come over in the right hand panel and click on packaging. All right. So now what you'll see in here is being that I had my packaging unit defaulted onto the product site record, you can see that that packaging unit automatically comes in here. So all I have to do really is to click on the save. In X3, we'll go ahead and assign a package number to that line. Okay, so in this case, it's package number ending in 20244. All right, so in this case, I'm going to print out one label. There's my crystal report, and here's my printer destination for the preview. Come over and click on my print button. And that will render my packaging label. All right, so the packaging label here has information relative to the sender of the product, who the recipient of the product is going to be. Um, it's got the packaging number, the weight, uh, product ID and description, the quantity that's in the package, uh, your shipment identification number, customer name, customer PO, your carrier reference. And down here at the bottom, you also have a barcoding label down here. Alrighty, so that's one method um, of performing the packaging directly from the delivery record. Alrighty, so next, let's take a look at the uh, packaging method that we can invoke um, through what we call the declarative packaging, or kind of the packaging workbench. So to get to that one, we're going to come under our stock menu, into packaging, then in here to declared packing. In here, we'll go ahead in our package selection field, we'll go ahead and uh, specify our site. We have our delivery cutoff. Okay. And I'm going to come over here and click on OK. All right. So in here, it'll, it'll go ahead and pull it up. So this is for my uh, next uh, delivery here, 59. And now it's prompting me to define how I want the goods to be packaged. I come over to my delivery line selection, choose the line from the delivery, it loads it into the grid, go ahead and do my save, and it assigns it a package number, 20245, one label of that same SETI call report. So like just like I did with the other method, I do a print. And that goes ahead and generates my label for me. Okay. So I print that out, close it up, and now I can uh, use my um, direction arrows up here and toggle over to my next delivery. So same exercise, putting the cargo into a box, select the delivery line, save it, creates the package, then I can come here and print the label. All right, so one final thing I want to show you is um, how to go about and um, do a reprint of the packaging labels in the event that you have to do that. So I can go ahead and close page here. And here at my menu, I'm going to come under Stock, Packaging, then to this option here for Print Packing Labels. Labels are generated off the delivery record. I come over here to my Number field here, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up 
one of those deliveries that I just processed. It uh, automatically pulls in what the package number assigned to the delivery was. Then I have my report here again. And just like I did with the other functions, come over to the right panel, do my print. And that in part will pull up my packaging label. Okay, so those are the basics uh, behind printing packaging labels uh, out of X3. Um, I hope this video was of use to you. Uh, if so, I'd ask you please to remember to like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, you can feel free to inbox me. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.